Hi guys, I'm back. I'm trying to keep it focused on this white canvas is quite difficult, so I'm sorry if you got to focus for the first minute or two, but it should focus back in once we get the color down. So, I've already got white all over this canvas, wet white paint. We're just using the leftovers from the last chain pull. This is going to be another chain pull, and it's going to be the opposite of the other one. So we're going to use the white background with the dark blue chain pull. So we're just going to jump right in here. We've got the same, same chain, same blue paint, same mixture of weird blues, but since the blue is going on top of the white this time, I don't know, we might get something, we might not get those really super cool cells that we got last time, but I'm really hoping for them. So again, I am pulling all the paint, well not all of the paint, but most of the paint off of the chain. And there we go. We might do some <laughs> minimalist paintings like this because I think they look cool. Okay, so if you guys watched the last one, you know this is a bit of a process. We have to wash off the chain before we can use it again because otherwise I will contaminate my dark blue paint with the white and it won't be as cool. Oh, I love the stripes going through there. This is totally different. It's reacting completely different from the last one, even though exact same paints, um, and yet completely different outcome. That's cool. Okay, I'm sorry this takes so long, but it takes a minute to get all that paint off of that chain so that it's nice and clean again. So how's everyone's day? My day, I tell you what, it is so hot here now, here in Georgia. It is every day at least 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity level is not even worth joking about. Because <laughs> if, if any of you out there live in Georgia, you know the humidity is not even funny. Um, it can make, you know... 85 feel like 105 so hopefully somewhere on the planet you guys are cooled off and having a wonderful start to your summer or if you're on the other side of the world just I guess your winter <laughs> okay so I think we're going to take this very first one I don't know. I don't want to disturb that first petal. I kind of like it. It looks cool. So we're going to do... Oh no. Let's do... Oops. I don't know. Something simple for this next one. Oh, I just love those stripes going through there. That is just cool. I was going to make these a pair, but they totally don't look like each other at all now. Because of the way the, the paints are reacting. See, I told you guys, I wouldn't be able to repeat what I did on the last painting. Now, if I use the same paints and did the blue background with the white background again, obviously I probably would be able to, you know, do it. Whoops. Very similar. That's what happens when you, uh, you know, have your paints too close to your <laughs> painting. Have your bottle of water. That's okay. Though. We can fix that. No big deal. We just wipe it off. Add a little more blue paint in there. I mean white paint. And nobody will ever know because once it dries, it will be flat. Okay. We got a few over here. We can deal with those in a minute. Let's, um, I'm going to take this to the sink. I'm sorry. I'm just rinse it out that way. Just way faster that way. Okay, let's 
let's dry that off. Make sure you dry your tan off because um, you know you don't want to add a bunch of water to your painting because then it'll it'll dry with like a uh, a dent in it. You don't want to do that. So let's dry that off. I'm gonna grab my white real quick and just add a pinch of white back to those spots. Before we move on, ooh, what did I do there? I do not know. Too much blue, I guess. There we go. And hopefully this should dry relatively flat. If your paint's thin enough, it will. If your paint's kind of thick, it won't dry absolutely 100% flat, but close enough. Um, and for this, I discovered, because I did sort of a test before this, you really need the background paint to be pretty thin, um, not like you would do a pour with. Okay, that should be good. We're going to set that off to the side in case I need it again. And let's go on with our next little... That's cool right there. You can I don't know if you guys can see it that close up, but I'd really kind of like to keep that right there. It's different. It looks more like the uh, the dark blue paint painting that we did previously. And yes, it is sitting over there. It is wet. And uh, yes, I try and be very careful when I have wet paintings. I've gotten kind of used to being trying to be careful, but every once in a while still I do do ruin a good painting. Let's go out kind of wide with this one. There we go. We got kind of a bonus there. Right there. That looks kind of cool. I kind of like it like that. I hate to keep going, but I wanted it. I don't know. I might do a series of these. These are kind of cool. I almost want to leave that. I really like that. But I wanted, <laughs> I wanted the two paintings to look the same. Look similar, but yeah, it doesn't look at all like the other one anyway. Um, 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 um. I really wish I'd gone a little further up there, sort of catch that, but that's okay. What to do? Well, let's just keep going. I like the really dark that blends down into the white. So we're just gonna do it again. I hope you guys are in focus. Let me check real quick. Okay, yes, we are. We are in focus. All right. Get my chain all covered up. And again, no silicone. Although this one might look kind of cool if we added some silicone to it. It probably would have looked more similar to the other one. But that's okay. So let's... to pull off some of that paint. Some of that, whoops, splattered that. Okay. That's okay. You can fix that. <laughs> I kind of like the splatter at the bottom, but it doesn't go with the painting, so we're gonna, gonna get rid of that. Got the chain dry. So let's get rid of these spots once again. There we go. Whoops, that's not cool. 
has some resin stuck to a piece of newspaper on the table. <laughs> and my gut stuck to it. I don't really know what we're going to do with that bottom stem yet, so we're just going to leave it for the moment. Okay. Let's get our chain in that blue paint again. Go slowly so your chain doesn't go flying off and hit your painting flick paint everywhere. I was going to try and get that chain, but we'll leave it. We'll deal with it in a second. I think what I'm going to do is take the palette knife and sort of scrape a little bit of that off. Because that's, it's getting, the paint is getting really thick down there, so. Okay. Just scrape a little bit inwards so we're not dragging glue across. There we go. Okay, that's better. Now we can fill that back in with some white. Let's torch it because I see a few air bubbles there. Ooh, now all those air bubbles are popping. It looks like snowflakes on the petals now. Interesting. Okay, one more. I think one more. What are we going to do with this one? I don't even know. Oops. Pick that one up and make it go towards the center. Whoops. Okay, that did not work really well. <laughs> we have to fix that. Obviously bothers me a lot, but um, I don't really know what to do with it. I mean, we could scrape it out completely and just fill it back in with white. Um, 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 um. I don't know. I feel like maybe we could even like drag it off to the bottom. I don't know. Let me see what you guys are seeing. I can see it from a distance. It might be a little better. Interesting. Um, 
Wow, guys, we really don't know what to do. I think we're just going to kind of scrape a little bit of that out. Put some more white down. If all else fails, you use your finger. A lot of times that'll get out the color that you don't want. Better than anything else. I'm just kind of running it down the sides there so it smooths out and okay so what are we going to do with that I think maybe just a little bitty pour I mean just a little bitty string pull through there we'll see how that goes There we go. Okay. We're done. That's it. It's a little off kilter, I think. I'm, I'm wrong. I gotta do one more little. Sorry, guys. I don't like things out of balance. Okay, so let's do this one. It doesn't want to stay on the... Can I live with that one? I don't know. I think I can live with that. Okay. That's it. So, I'm going to get you down just so you can kind of see the, the stripiness going on. Although you really can see it from there. Okay, so there's the top, and you can kind of see the teeny tiny little white specks where the air bubbles popped. Can't avoid that. And that's where you kind of had a similar effect right there, right there. Similar effect to the other painting, but that's the only place I think we got that. Maybe we'll do one of these where we blow out the edges, even though I kind of like the edges. I mean, the whole idea of the chain pool is to have the edges from the chain, so... Um, <laughs> I like the really dark blue that feeds into the white. It kind of gives it a little bit of depth. And that's about it. And there's the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to back up a little bit and show you both of them side by side. Okay, so that really is the best view I can get. <laughs> I'm like standing there with my phone against my kitchen ceiling so I can get both of these together. So you can kind of see, you know, they're similar because of the shapes and the way we did it. And, and the, the colors are obviously the same, but they look really quite different, which is really cool. So I think this would make a great like diptych on somebody's wall. <sighs> okay, let's put you back. Okay, well, there's your pretty for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I seriously kind of love these. Um, they turned out really cool. And I think we're going to do some more, maybe some kind of variation on it. Um, I don't know what that will be yet. I, obviously, I dragged the chain through there, so I'm going to have to fill in that white, but that's okay. I'll do that in a second. Off camera. But I think they turned out pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Go find you a chain and... All you need is two colors. And uh, try this for yourself. Like I said, 
before on the, the previous video. This is a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. Um, so yeah. All right. Wherever you're on the planet, hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. And uh, thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. Um, thank you guys for sharing my videos, for hitting that like button. I appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> um, if you want to support my channel, you can go to my PayPal link below and make a donation. And I greatly, greatly appreciate those. Um, and uh, if you'd like to check out my website, the link below is for that. So thank you to everyone who has supported me in any way. Your emails, your questions, your comments, your donations to my channel, your purchase of, of my art pieces. Thank you very much for all your support and love and wonderful kind comments and stories and, you know, just telling me about your life. I love to hear about you guys all over the world. So you guys are my friends. I love you bunches. See you later. Bye.